What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay and Cole and Jay are not in Arkansas anymore. No, we're we not. are in Florida. We're we so, Key. Yes, we are in Petito <laughs> Key staying at Sandy Key Resorts thanks to our good friend Becky. Yeah, if you don't know who <laughs> Becky is, you don't remember her. She is the subscriber that we surprised on her birthday this past summer back in Arkansas at Grace Bay Lake. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she has this amazing uh, beach condo here. It's we're literally standing in front of the window looking at the ocean right now. And she said that nobody was renting it out this week, and that we were more than welcome to come up here and stay for the week. We were like, "Are you serious?" Yes. We're like, "Yes, that'd be awesome to get away from the Arkansas cold we've been having and get some beach time here in the sunny state of Florida." So we just want to say a big thank you to thank Becky you. for offering this amazing uh, beach house to us. Um, for the week. We are so excited to be here and to have this opportunity to make some really cool saltwater fishing videos for you guys. I think it's going to be really, really fun. Yeah. yeah, so what we're going to do, I think we're going to load up our gear. We're going to check out a few areas. We're on the beach. So we might stroll up and down the beach for a little bit, see if there's any fish uh, working um, in the surf. But if not, there's a couple of big bay areas that we're going to maybe launch our kayaks in and just, just see what's out there. You know, we're not very, very familiar with this area. We're not very familiar with saltwater fishing, but we think we have some gear that will help us out. And if not, then we'll go ask some local experts somewhere and <laughs> hopefully get on a fat bag of fish for you guys. So stick with it and uh, we'll see you guys on the water. All right, so before we leave, we got to show you guys the view. We forgot to show you guys the awesome view of the balcony. Whoa, it's glowing. Look at that ocean. Check it out. It's amazing. Yeah, there's the Gulf of Mexico and there's the baby Gulf of Mexico right there. <laughs> We're gonna have a pool party. It's so warm here. It is so warm. It's like 75 awesome. degrees. It's only gonna get warmer. Look at that. I don't see any fish jumping, but we're gonna find something. Ready to go? Let's go swimming. Uh, Just kidding. Let's go. <laughs> What's up? Okay, so we have made it to our first fishing spot. We decided that we would try uh, a long fishing pier. You know, just trying to get like a feel for the area and see what kind of fish are lurking out here in the Gulf of Mexico this time of year. So we have a cooler. We've got some ice in there. We're gonna try to you know, catch and keep some fish. And we got just our rod. We've got a bunch of artificial tackle. We've got some shrimp. And uh, we're just gonna walk out here. There's several people out here fishing. So hopefully somebody's catching something and hopefully we will start catching something. A bunch of pigeons too. Look at this little pigeon. <laughs> There's all sorts of birds out here hoping to get a free meal. They're kind of cool. There's some gulls. Here's a pelican. All sorts of stuff. So anyways, we're gonna get out here, see what's biting. Hopefully catch something. Hopefully catch something. So chasing it. Eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. No, 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 eat it. Oh my gosh, she missed it. I got fish, Jay. I got fish chasing me. Okay, I'm about to catch one. I had like 20 of them. I had like 20 of them on it. There's jellyfish. I just had like 20 fish on my stuff. I must have snagged him. Oh, I snagged him. I was like, man, I got a big old blue. <laughs> Here we go. Come on up. Look at that ray. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'd be, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do. Woo. All right, I got the first bluefish of the day. Took a while. He swiped at it and got hooked in the head, unfortunately. I think it's too small. Small in my foot. Yeah, he's too small. He's too small, buddy. Hey, you can't have him, he's too small. He's too small, buddy. You can't have him, he's too small. I see you got a 14 inch fish. Ah. Okay, maybe, maybe if we get one that's right size, I'll give it to you. Possibly, you just can't tell nobody. It's against the rules. <laughs> There's not, oh, oh. Got something. Is that a mackerel? Mackerel. Mackerel. A mackerel. Woo! Hey, you can't eat my mackerel. Look at that. He's attacking me. Pelican's attacking me. He wants my mackerel. Look at that. That's the first Spanish mackerel I've ever caught in my life. <laughs> 12 inches at the fork? <laughs> hey, you listen up, buddy. <laughs> well, I'm about to stand up, buddy's trying to harass me. Okay, so that is my first 
Spanish mackerel in the trip. He's not being able to keep. We have to throw him back in the water. I got this pelican harassing me, he's biting my leg. Watch him. Look at that. He's literally biting my leg. He's upset about it. But here's the deal. If he he could dive down there and get this fish, it's probably not gonna live. But anyways, Spanish mackerel, he gotta be 12 inches at the fork to keep. He's like 11. So we're gonna throw him back and hopefully catch a bigger one. Just a cool fish though. I'm up here. Aww. Okay, so so me and me and Pepper the Pelican here are not best friends, but Jay is trying to be friends. Jay's trying to be friends hey. with him. Hey, look, do you like shrimp? <laughs> Pepper, do you like shrimp? Do you like shrimp? Huh? You don't like shrimp? Do you like shrimp? You don't like shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is what you want? <laughs> <laughs> See? That's Can awesome. we be friends? <laughs> yeah, you and him are friends now. Yeah, we're <laughs> thank <tight>. you. <laughs> I got something. You got one? I got one. I finally got one. <laughs> what is it, boy? Okay. <laughs> what is it? Oh. Hey, go, Jay. <laughs> Not exactly what we're after, but uh. Finally on the board. I'm on the board with something. Making a bunch of noise. That's cute. I think it's like a little jack. Not exactly sure what that is, but pretty cool. That's not what we're after. We're after the big blues. Hmm. You want it? You want it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hooked up, baby. It's been a while since I caught anything. And it is a giant from Mora. Big old guy. I don't know how to get him up. <laughs> That's not what it looked like down there. Ugh. Look at that big old sucker down there. Crunch that swim bait. And now what we do? I pull him up. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Come up here, you crazy looking fish. Wow. <laughs> Big old sucker. Look at that. <laughs> That's definitely the biggest fish we've caught today. That is a remora. You see these guys sucking underneath the undersides of like big sharks or like big rays. And we saw like a bunch of jellyfish coming over and we saw some weird fish look down there. I didn't think that this is what we saw. I don't think it's what we saw. No. This guy came out of nowhere and uh, crunched that swim bait I was throwing. Look at that, he's got those big old fins. And they have those. Can you see the top of the Yeah, so this is what they use to suck on to like the bottom sides of uh, giant flippers, giant fins on sharks and, and rays and even whales. It's really cool, really big fish. Really cool looking, super neat, streamlined <laughs> body. It's the biggest one of these I've ever caught. I caught one of these before, but it was a lot smaller. It's really cool. And there was a school of fish coming this way. Hopefully they still come this way, and hopefully we can catch some more fish for you guys. But we're gonna get him back in the water and uh, see what happens. Here we go. All the way down. Woo! There he goes. Good job. Thanks. My hand, these gloves are gonna smell so bad. They smell <laughs> like shrimp, bluefish, and not remora. Ugh. I like it. Little ones. Okay. 
All right, so I've made a switch. I'm throwing a little swim bait. This is a six cents divine swim bait on a six cents swim bait jig head. And uh, the bite has been just kind of slow. The fish aren't ganged up in these really aggressive schools and it seems like they're wanting a little bit slower presentation. This is about my most realistic option that I have for working the bait slow. So we're just gonna let it sink out there to the bottom. Fish it slow. And let's see if we can get a couple of bigger bluefish or just whatever's out there. I think that anything will eat this. Oh crap, mm. I got something big. I've got something big. There's a big turtle up there too. Oh, I think I got a, I'm, oh wow, what do I got? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this is, red? Yeah, red. I, would oh, love I hope so. Was, I would love it if it was a red. I was, I was just, <laughs> I was just dragging it on the bottom. Oh yeah, don't do it. I was looking at that. I think, it's, I think it's a big turtle out there, though. I'm like, still freaking out about it. Where's that? There it is. What is that? It's a red. <gasps> big red, dude. Big red. Does anybody have some drop net? Yeah, I do. You do? That'd be awesome. <laughs> you got a big old red. <laughs> Look at that turtle. I know it is a turtle. It's a huge turtle. That's so crazy. Oh, it's a big red. It's a big red, dude. Dude, that's it's a big red. It's a big overhead. <laughs> Where's he at? Oh, cool! <laughs> it is. Oh, this is the first Well, not yet. I caught it yet, but hopefully it will catch it. That's awesome. Couldn't done it without this net. <laughs> wow. Check that out. So here's here's what was going on. There's a giant sea turtle out there and I was looking at it and I was like trying to see if that was what it was. My bait was just kind of dragging slowly on the bottom and dude just absolutely crunched it. And uh, if I didn't have the help with the shaman with the net, we wouldn't have got it. So <laughs> that's awesome. We're gonna measure, see if it's a keeper. Hopefully it is. It's gotta be in between 18 and 27, so. It's gonna be close. Yeah, put her down. Let's see. Yeah. Pinch the tail. I think it's too big. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too big. 30 inches. 30 incher? Yeah. Too big. 27? Yeah. yeah. Too big. Oh, it's too big. Oh, it's alright. Alright, so we just got a measurement on it. Ended up being 30 inches. That's too big, so we're gonna have to send it back into the Ocean, <laughs> hopefully catch one a little bit smaller. It's kind of weird saying that, but <laughs> get one just a little bit smaller and then maybe a little bit, one a little bit bigger after that. Okay. So I may have not caught very many fish today, but at least I've made a friend. This is who we named Pepper the Pelican. <laughs> And he's so adorable. He's kind of mean though. Yeah, he's kind of spicy like a habanero pepper. Yeah. He just wants he just wants some love. Want some love? And I don't think he wants mullet. I think he wants like a freshly caught fish. If I could catch a fish, I would give it to you. He's kind of iffy about the mullet. He's like, eh. He said, like, ugh. <laughs> That's why I can't catch enough fish on it. Even a pelican won't eat it. <laughs> That's bad. When a pelican won't eat a mullet, you know it's bad. What's wrong, buddy? What's wrong with the mullet? So fun fact, Pepper is a brown pelican <laughs> and unlike white pelicans, North American white pelicans, um, these guys, the only way they can catch their food is by dive bombing or if, you know, crazy tourists give them their catch. <laughs> Be nice, Pepper. We have a love-hate relationship. <laughs> oh my gosh, he is biting I'm you. <laughs> Pepper, we're trying to be nice to you. Pepper. You're getting attacked That'll by pelican. Pepper. Pepper, get out of here. Hey. You're more trouble than you're worth. You're not being nice. Look at him, he's literally biting her pants. He's, he's kissing me. Those aren't kisses. Okay. Pepper. All right, Pepper, we're gonna try to catch you a fish, okay? You got one? Get him, get him, Jay. Take a beer stick take a beer take a Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, you got him. Here you go. Yeah, come on, Jay. Oh my God. 
Oh my god. Sorry, man. I'm going under. I'm going under. Come on, Jay. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get tired. Look at that. Peach. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's got me. I'm not sure if I got him. <laughs> that thing is enormous. Dang! Okay, so we have a uh, under the beach. I think he's tired. We're going to the beach! Drum? We're almost there. Ooh. If anything. Swim. Go. Go. Okay. Go. Might be hard to get around that thing. Oh, you got it. It is. Okay, we're trying to no, not here. Come on, big buddy. Oh, no, 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 no. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, my gosh. Away from the I'm coming. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, I'm coming. Oh, it's so hard to run. Chocolate's on the beach. Oh, I'm coming. Holy crap. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I thought it was a black drum. And this is a full redfish. The best thing we could have expected. I don't know how we landed it. But it's halfway down the bridge. I avoided all the pilings with 20 pound braid. So I put medium run. I'm not sure how heavy this fish is. But it is enormous. Probably like 30 pounds. I don't know how big his head is. Wow. Look at that perfect hook set right in the corner of the mouth. Let me get him a hook, get him in the water. He revives and just gets the picks. <laughs> okay, we got the hook out. That thing is massive. I wish we had a way to measure it. Awesome, okay, so we fought this fish for like 30 minutes yeah. on top of the bridge. <laughs> we are going to release this big guy back into the lake. He's too big, he's been over. And uh, How much you think he weighs? I don't know, he's really heavy, at least 30 something. Ooh, this uh, is a big fish. We took a measurement with the fish line. We're gonna get the actual measurement here in a minute. But this thing is massive, I can't believe. So we just caught this massive red fish off the spear with bass tackle. Okay, let's get back in the lake. Except for, I'm sorry, 
that I caught that on your fishing pole. He stole my fish again. Every time we go saltwater fishing, he steals my fish. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Okay. That pole was was, <laughs> the pole was, was, was launched up in between two pieces yeah. of wood. The Whenever bottom the of the split grip was bright, was cracking. Okay. Yeah. And the pole was like. And was I was trying to pull it out and I couldn't get it out and Cole grabbed the pole. I grabbed it up and then the fish ran a hundred yards yeah. out into the ocean. And it, I didn't stop. Didn't stop. And I couldn't even hand the pole to Jay because the pole would have been yanked out in the yeah. ocean. There was like no time to even give me the pole. I wasn't. It was hectic. I'm, I'm it was sorry. It was crazy. Hey. But dead gum it. Hey, it won't happen again. I promise. It oh, won't he happen says again. it won't happen again. <laughs> we'll see. Hey. Okay, so since we weren't actually filming whenever we hooked up with the fish, we're going to give you a rundown of what happened. So I casted my line out and I put my rod. Okay, you right can see. Here. Yep. See how it's wedged between the board? So you get your rod wedged between the board. And then this rod is pointing out this way. So then I took my GoPro off, <laughs> walked to the bench, grabbed my hoodie, and I said to Cole, I just want to catch a fish. And I put my hoodie on, and as soon as I get my hoodie on over my head, the line goes, Aah! Yeah. And it was crazy. It was so crazy. And like it literally, this rod should have broke. Yeah. But it was like stuck in here, and I was like trying to pull it out, and I couldn't get it out. And so Cole, Cole. Because we had to, it was going to break. Cole pulled it out like Mr. Hulk, and. That fish just it was like took King off. I pulled it out like the sword out of the stone. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, like the rod itself was doubled over. This is concrete, so it's probably it's probably got some issues. I don't know. It didn't break while you're fighting that fish, so I guess there's not any issues. And then this is a split grip, so that was wedged between the concrete too. So I don't know how it didn't blow up. We're using 20 pound braid <laughs> to 20 pound monofilament leader, and somehow we landed that monster. Yeah. I, I hate that I don't know how heavy that fish was, but I took a measurement. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, but look how far he walked that fish down. Yeah, I can zoom in and it still looks like 10 miles. You see that? That's so crazy. He walked it all the way to the beach. And that was first, awesome. so we were on this side actually. He ran, see those buildings out there? He didn't run that far, but he might as well had. You see the sun? He ran out there to the sun. And then he ran this way. And then he ran back over here. So I was just walking up and down and up and down. And then finally got him over here. And very I'm sure y'all saw we had Surfer Dude. He managed to grab it and it was awesome. He saved the day. Saved the day. Another guy held the rod for us. He saved the day so yeah. I get down there. Jay was video. I thought I was going on the GoPro. I actually turned the GoPro off whenever I hit the button. So I'm not sure how much I got Fail. on camera. So while all of that was just so crazy, which I think that that has to be the most insane fish catch of my life probably. Um, at the end of the day, we got the fish. We landed it. It was a bowl red fish. <laughs> and I'm just crazy excited to you know measure up my piece of braid line to know how long that fish was i know that's what people care about in redfish is how long they were not how much not really how much they weighed but it had to be over 30 pounds yeah his head was like 20 pounds so <laughs> but just to clarify i am not mad at cole for taking the rod she's the best so <laughs> i know that he wanted to catch a redfish really bad and that was like a super big redfish and so jake's caught a bunch of redfish for, in her life i'm happy for him <laughs> You're the so best. don't hate on him in the comments i don't want to see any of that <laughs> yeah but anyways we have to end the video here because it's getting late the pier is actually going to be closing soon my hand is shaking, my arm is so tired. Um, the lights just came on out here. Um, anyways, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna try to find some measuring tape. We're gonna show you guys the measurement sheet so we can tell you guys how long that fish was. But yeah, we're gonna pack it up, we're gonna leave here. And it's supposed to be really stormy in Florida tomorrow. We're not sure how much fishing we're gonna be able to get done, but hopefully we do get to wet a line tomorrow. But yeah. we'll see you guys when we find some measuring tape. All right, we're back at the house now. That drive back here to the condo was like the longest drive ever because I'm so eager to figure out how long that redfish was. We scanned like the whole entire beach, it seemed like, trying to find an angler that had a measuring tape and nobody was there. All the anglers went home, and uh, but we knew we had a measuring tape here at the house. So we were going to figure out how long that fish was. So what I did is while we had the fish on the ground, I had um, a guy on top of the bridge drop down my line so I could measure the length of the fish with some braided line and I marked and cut the line almost an exact length of the fish. So we're going to lay this out. 
And here is the exact piece of braided line that I used to catch the fish. I'm gonna be posting this piece of fishing line on my eBay so we can put it for auction so you guys can buy it. Just kidding. Anyway, I'm gonna lay it here on the table, on the measuring tape. And this is measured to the tip of the tail, to the furthest tip of the nose. And we are, where are we at? Yeah, I got this down here tight. Oh my gosh, she's almost 48 inches. Dang! Golly, 47 and three fourths, give or take. A little bit under three fourths. Woo! That's Woo. a big fish. That was a very big fish. Wow, a 48 incher perhaps. I mean, it could have been a little longer, could have been a little bit less, but anywhere between 47 and 48 inches is how big that fish was. And we didn't get a girth measurement but I know that fish in my hands was at least 30, 35, maybe a little heavier. Um, it felt like holding a sack of deer corn, which is 40 pounds. So it could have even been a 40 pound fish. I don't think it was that big, but probably 35, 38 pounds. Just a massive behemoth of a redfish. That's incredible. <whistles> Woo! Woo! That's awesome. <laughs> Well, the only bad thing about that catch was it was too big to eat. Yeah, in fact, everything we <laughs> caught today was either an over the slot size fish or under. So we came home empty handed. Unfortunately. I mean, hopefully we can change that in, in the future. Or but... empty stomached, I guess is what it would be. Yeah. We're really hungry right now, mm -hmm. but that's okay. We didn't catch fish, but hey, we got pizza in the oven. Look at that. I can't think of a better way to celebrate a good day of fishing <laughs> than with some pizza. We love pizza. <laughs> yeah, eat some pizza, hang out here in the condo, chill, and just relax until tomorrow and do it all over again. Tomorrow's my day to shine though. I'm gonna catch a big one. Yes, you are. <laughs> I can feel it. I but this is where we're gonna end today's episode guys. We hope you guys enjoyed. We had a blast fishing on the pier and kind of figuring it out today I feel like you know the longer that we spend out there the more we're gonna understand how the fishing works out there And we're so excited never to learn. fished before. Yeah, never. Never. And we, did, we saw several different species We saw several different species get caught and different tactics being used by different anglers So we're just gonna try to just you know keep going with the flow if we see a fish down there throw at it and try to catch it That's our goal for tomorrow so if you guys enjoyed today's episode, be sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you won't miss out on our future fishing adventures while we're down here in Florida. We're Colin Jay, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.